Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Petrushka Moyes, and I am a Clear Mellon Fellow with Grinnell College, and my title is Data Curist for Haitian Visual Arts. Uh, the HADC project is the Haitian Arts Digital Crossroads project, and our efforts is to take the entire collection and to catalog it and digitize it and make it accessible to the public on the internet. My method is going to be a little bit of reverse uh, engineering in a sense. Uh, what I'll be doing is looking at the artist, the time and period of which they were born in, or, or the time and period of where they made the art. What was going on in the landscape of Haiti, politically, socially? Uh, were any of those things influential to that artist? Who was around the artist at the time? Were they in a cooperative? Were they working with other artists? Or were they working with themselves? And then, of course, the donors, if they had a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the artist, if we, by chance, have the opportunity to start to interview those people who collected the art, and maybe they can give us a snapshot as to when they visited the artist and what was the mindset of the artist, what was the discussions about. All of those things bring value to the experience. Well, we're doing two steps at the same time, if I want to say. Um, on this side of the world, <laughs> uh, what we are doing is we are taking piece by piece and we are making sure that the catalog number is accurate in the system. We are making sure that the dimensions are accurate seeing if there's any notations, like if there's a signature on the piece, if there's any markings that we want to put in our notation. And then from there, what we're doing is taking it over to the other side where they are taking a high resolution photos of the pieces, front and back, because there is a lot of information that can be gathered as to not only the, make, the, the final front facing of the piece, but also the production. Because these are metal, these were made from oil drums. So these were hand banged. Um, some of them, um, some of these are pressed and Haitians are very um, innovative. So we're looking for different indications as to how this art was made. So as you can see throughout here, what we've done is we've used our town hall and we've used the stage, uh, the sitting area as a way to organize all arts and they come in different shapes and sizes so we yesterday was a very long day of being very creative <laughs> of puzzle placing and then matching um, all of the pieces with thumb with thumbprints of the photos so that when we pick up a piece and come to measure it we know exactly where to put it back and so that way we're not confusing each other as we're simultaneously working so if we had five more hands, it would have been great. <laughs> but we're being very d deliberate and, and what I'm hoping to do is kind of create a standardized format so that we have five more vaults. This is just one vault. So we have five more vaults to digitize uh, in the course of time. So I'm hopefully, hopefully this is a system that works for everyone and we can repeat it and step and repeat.